how to use cloth with hard ops. Say we want to add some cloth onto this section here. So what we need to do is first go into edit mode. Let's add some edges. So two, add an edge loop there. Control B to bevel it. Great. Now I'll add another edge loop here, another edge loop there. Interface. So this is the section that I want to be turned into cloth. So what I need to do is I've selected those faces. You need to um, detach these faces, but with hops, you can do it a lot quicker. So again, press Q, holding control, select curve extract. Now, as you can see, we have two separate objects. I'll isolate this object. And this is going to be the object that we're going to turn into cloth. To turn this into cloth, we need to first give it more geometry. And there's two ways you can do this. One, using mesh tools in, in hops and go into dice holding control which when holding control will dice it in on all axes so as you can see you can scroll wheel to give it more geo that's good or another way you can do it is simply by going to adding a subdivision surface clicking simple turn off optimal display so we can see how much and selecting how much geo you want let's just go for the, something quite high Great. Now, if we press Q, add modifier cloth, brings up this panel here, press play, and it will start the animation. Now, these are the ways you can change the settings. So hovering over this section here, you can use your mouse wheel to scroll up and down, which will affect the pressure, bring it in or, or bring it out. Shrink will increase the size. and time span will be the length of this animation. So let's get something that we're happy with. Let's say, yeah, something like that. Something like that, apply, okay. Now we need to add some more geo. So add modifier, subdivision surface, beef it up to two. Unhide all the elements. Let me delete these faces. And there we go. Sometimes when you have a cylinder like this, what you want to do is let's do this again and I'll show you the problem. If we click curve extract, so again we've got two objects, one, two. Isolate this object. Now this is the problem. If we go to mesh tools, holding control, select dice, as you can see, we have Geo that's not very optimal. So dice really isn't a good um, good tool to use in this in this example here. So what you want to do is there's there's a couple of ways you can do this. If you have um, a remesh add on something like quad remesh will do this perfectly, but if not, you can simply just go into edit mode, go into your edges, select an edge, control R for edge ring, scroll up, try and make the polygons as even as possible. Let's go something like that. Great. Back out of edit mode, Q, add modifier, cloth, play. Edit until you're happy. Let's go apply, unhide, add more geo, control two, hide the wireframe. There we go. That's cloth in hops. Super simple and super quick. Thanks.